Hey, hey, YouTube, it's the Birdman, Jim Worley Bird, with Cindy, and we're heading to Lakeshore RV, and I guess it's in Muskegon, Michigan, and we're kind of looking for that mid-bunk fifth wheel, or I think, hauler. well, or a toy hauler, um, I would prefer the mid-bunk, I think it gives us more room, and she wants a toy hauler because... Apparently, we have a lot of toys that we need to haul. Turn left onto Michigan so, so at any rate, uh, it's about three hours away from where we live. So we're just coming up and checking out what they got, trying to find a good deal. And hopefully we can get this thing going. Cause this just might be the one. So it has no storage, as you can tell. You don't mind if you're on camera sometimes, right? No, not right. Okay. I could even put my shoes under here. Holy <laughs> crap. And I would only Do you see why I said there's no other model they have ever produced? I could this is where we can put shoes. the grandkids. All yes. my shoes. Like I could fill up three coats of shoes. And then the outside TV is up here then, right? Let's take a look. Oh, but no outside, outside kitchen. They actually did initially when they first came out with it. People complained that it made the bathroom feel smaller, so they actually went to a single sink and just put more countertop space. What is it with them not matching up countertops? They, the companies do that a lot. They actually mix and match the That's, yeah for contrast. That. But this is a company that since they make their countertops, we actually could probably get them to make those pieces. This is. Uh, I like this better mm -hmm. than this. I like this one. Oh, the Formica? Yeah. Then, I mean, look wise, I like this design. That, yeah, yeah, that kind of marble granite. So then now the TV mounts yep. on a swivel off here. She's just in the closet here. <laughs> Do what? I am like literally in the closet. I'm like all the way back here, standing up. Washer and dryer on this side? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to put your clothes back here, though. Yeah. But look at how large. This is a 60-inch tub shower unit, just like your house would have. Yeah, that's... I mean, it's yeah. Nice. Skylight, light above. You suck. Now, is this new or used? Brand new. Okay. Brand new. This one literally just came in from the factory. This is their newest, latest version of this. Because it has a newer, bigger oven. And the new fancy. Yeah, you should see the oven. Okay, well, let's follow you. Yeah, the oven is nice. <clears throat> Although, it only has... I don't mess. care. <laughs> Double access to the half bath, which is nice. Oh, the big fridge. The big fridge. Big fridge. Lots of nice... Look at, I mean, look at all the kitchen cabinet storage. Open those up. Those are huge. Plus additional pantry storage above there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I need a step ladder. We might have to get a step ladder for that one. Oh, a half bath that goes both. That is nice. Yeah. I like that one. Look at Power heat massage for this furniture. And sit on this furniture and see if you think this is comfortable. This is the fanciest version of what they need. We have nothing Let's nicer than see. this. This one does not recline. Uh, that, that one actually does. That one does, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. There should be a black. 
Because nope. it actually looks like that it slide does. That does over there for sure too. And then these do over here too. I, I think because this is this one's removable oh, you know what? Yeah. It's probably because of the slide. It's probably that one and that one. Just yeah, those two stages yeah. do. This one doesn't because this one you can move. Okay, this is kind of awkward with this here, but that's okay. Well, the other thing too is you can put that TV on a bracket that pivots. The slide is oh, no. all the way out though. Uh, this, yeah, it should be all no, the way out. No, it's not because there's a big gap. Oh no, it's not. No, so yeah, you could go back another. Yeah, they probably didn't another that. handful they because it's so close. Yeah, so if you move this back further, then I think. Yeah. Yeah, but this is. Uh, very this is where I would be any, anyways. No, I would be over here, so we, I would just have to move this. Yeah, just take this right out. Rotate it. Rotate no, I'd it. take this right out. Just put it off in the back. Because we, we wouldn't even need that one for just us. Right. And then you can put a little table. A, a little end table right there. That would be perfect. How big is that TV? Oh, that's got to be close to 60 inches big. Holy crap, man. Wow. This is not a model where you rough it. <laughs> Big windows, though. You notice everywhere where they can put a massive window they have. Look at this oven. No ceiling fan. Uh, yeah, it does actually have a ceiling fan right there and one in the back in the... Oh, no, I mean... Uh, oh, no, in, no, no. Inside... Uh, no, power vent fans is what yeah. they've got and then also fans the air conditioner. Look at it, look at it. No, that's... Yeah. That's the separate, the whole separate Look oven at all unit. These drawers. Because this isn't out all. The yeah, way. no, you're right. The slide isn't because yeah. you can't access the drawers. Yeah, that's all. I like this. Yeah, that's the like that. that I wanted. The one with the little yeah. little things. And we got the square sinks. Hopefully, yes. Yeah, but just one. That's fine. One big one. That's fine. How come you're changing some of the stuff? You were like, this is what he wants. No, because and now this it's one's like, nice. fine. No, because yeah, this, this, really is, this is pretty nice. How do I climb up here? Like, what does this oh, this. Or does it just... Does it... Make sure it's all the way down. Yeah, because I don't want you to make me fall. That would be bad. Nice cabinets. Your TV would mount up here. Air conditioner in the back. I'm assuming this has three air conditioners in it. Uh, this one actually has two, and they're fifteen thousand. Oh, just oh, okay, okay. Because they're the larger ones. They're fifteen thousand. What does that look like up there? Here. I mean, it's a kid. Oh, well, probably too. Is this already recording? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Stop it because I, I like this. Yeah, I mean, it's not oh. like. You it though, is it? Great bathroom up in front. Great living room. Big garage to do anything you'd ever want. Massive storage in the underbed. You could bring any tool or anything that you ever dreamt of bringing. Clearly, there's not a limit to it. So I don't have to get rid of my tools. <laughs> no, not in this month. Did you stop recording it? No. You're just holding it anyway, so it's a lot of editing. Those are your guitars and your tools. You guys have enough area and storage and space for all of them. You know? Because you could build me a nightstand and in it's here. Got a fireplace. Yeah. And this is just like that that raptor. They yeah. Just but big step up quality wise. Because it's got the better grain fiberglass. It's got you can look at eighty eight point nine degree turn on a box. That the inch and a half by three inch aluminum structure frame. It's got the fancier windows. Remember the raptor that you go in The raptor didn't have a front. No, bathroom, no, babe. In that bathroom, no. Size, and it didn't have a walk-through. Uh, didn't have bathroom. a walk-through bath. I like that it because it's had a pantry it's... door, like where the loft was. Yeah. There was a pantry. Yeah. Underneath. What do you think of this one? I like it. It doesn't fit in your budget. Well, what I showed I you in the car. I, I'm worried about your budget if you're not. Well, what I showed you in the car, would that, I mean, would that be plausible or no? Yeah. Now, the back patio, does it have the gates that come yes. out too yep. and the doors? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then all of this, 
all of this is all LED lighting. Yes, that's all. Oh. All do you hit, see that, Cindy? Yeah. yeah. All yeah. this trim work. Yeah, the screen and back we were just talking about. If you push a button, it powers down and powers up. What does the screen? This has a rear screen to it, plus the patio oh, system. Oh. And the great thing about this has dual DVD centers, but then a power screen where all you do is push a button, this whole thing will screen right down. Okay. And look at the size oh, windows they put back here. They're massive. No, this is freaking nice. And you've got the dual entry to the bath, like you mentioned. No, so yeah, I I dig that because that's whether you're that's really nice. So that way, if you're not out here well, or whatever, you and you have, have gas. Let's say you're cooking yeah. a meal, or she's cooking a meal. If either one of you are cooking, you don't have people walking right in front of you, too. Yeah. You know, to get to the areas, they can walk through right there or use the side door. <laughs> this is. And this has the cupboards on either side. You want. Yep. <laughs> yep. I seen that, and then the TV just yep. mounts exactly. right up into here. Yep. So that way you can be out here and you're just relaxing. What's here? Nice let's see, see this. Really here. Garage in the area that you work on. Yeah, these just fit right up. See. And normally you have this up higher. Yeah. And these these are a little stiff, so I mean these would take some getting used to playing cards and you know stuff like that. You, you know because they're more yeah, but you have you more have rugged. The, you, you, you know. This has the table. Well, yeah, for, it has the eating table. Yeah, so if there's you, like four people playing cards, yeah, you'd want to do it back there. Yeah, but I think out in Arizona, you're going to be out back a lot. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Getting that breeze and you, you know what I'm saying? I think you'll be out there a lot. What are you thinking, if you don't mind me asking? I'm thinking I like it, but I'm thinking he's the one that said we have a budget. Well, there you go. <laughs> so what does that mean? Does that mean you sit here in front of a salesperson who thinks, hey, we should try and talk to you? No. I think the bottom line is this. When we people talk about a budget, they look at budgets two different ways. And I think this is what you have to contemplate. You can look at a budget based on what you're spending. You can look at a budget based on what something depreciates and what you lose and what it costs you to own it for the period of time you have it. You know, the reason that a company like Edmunds.com came out with a five-year study on vehicles and said, hey, after five years, let's say a truck loses 65% of its value, is to give people a sense of the true cost of ownership. That's really what a budget's about, what it costs you to own it. When you have a toy hauler that's a better toy hauler that loses less in depreciation, then I guess the argument is this. If it costs less to own this in five years than it does, let's say, to buy a mid-bunk or a luxury fifth wheel, if that mid-bunk or luxury <coughs> excuse me, fifth wheel for five years costs thirty grand to own, and this costs fifteen grand to own. What makes more sense? Right. <coughs> sure, you spent more money initially, but it retains its value. Better. It's not my budget. I'm just the rule follower. <laughs> you said this is the rule. This is what I want to spend. Now you're trying to break that rule. After you told the rule follower. This is the rule. So now I'm like, but we're breaking the rules. Can I say respectfully, I think he's looking at the budget in a different way. I think the reality is he's understanding that part of the budget isn't just what you spend. It's what it costs you to own it for the period of time you own it. True? If, and if I got it on camera, baby. If you baby. want to break the budget. <laughs> no, true? Right. I... <coughs> you just can't come back to me in four or five years and say... We, I went above budget, blah, 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 blah. Well, I think here's the other reality, too, is I think it doesn't matter if it's even four or five years. I don't think it matters if it's two or three years. If you get to a point where, for whatever reason, you say, I feel it's too big or I feel it's too expensive, then you turn around and sell it and sell it when it's worth more. That You don't wait the four or five years. Yeah, at that point, maybe you buy something else. But it's like, what are you going to buy after this? Like... Um, we had the diesel pusher mm -hmm. and all the storage everywhere. And everything we've walked in is like, no, oh, no storage. That's why you're oh, not satisfied, though. This sucks. Look at what you're going for. Right. And look what you're attempting to go to. And so then you're going to get this, and then you're going to downsize from this. No, I don't think you would downsize. Yeah, I think what you find no, is that you're happier I, with think, I, I think, depending on where we want to go, and what we want to see, and and the restrictions that we have with having a larger unit, mm -hmm. 
that may be the motivation to say, you know what, we lived large, and we notice we haven't used the space like I was talking out in the car. You're not working with wood like you thought you were. Even if I don't work with wood, do you want to give up the garage? No. I don't. Because the dogs can go out there because we have a back patio. Because right, but I'm thinking, I'm like... thinking, what, what, what are we, what are we here? Forty three. Yeah. Totally. Okay, we're forty three foot. So we drop this down to thirty eight, thirty nine. 38 foot now that opens more we're not noticing a huge loss in space well, we because we're, we're taking it from the garage we're <coughs> taking that 12 yeah, foot maybe go 10 you foot know, you, you actually the yeah, living you area. actually are you take from living because here and she's right because here's what happened remember when we were in that 325 earlier yeah that's 38 foot seven inches that's 325 both of you said oh small don't really have a place for a washer dryer oh tiny this Oh, don't have a big bathroom. You didn't have the storage storage up there. It wasn't one thing. It was four or five, six different things we were giving up. We walk into this. We got storage. We got the living room. Why? We're 43 feet. We've got the living space. We got the big garage. We have the half bath. We didn't have to concede on anything in this unit. Why? Because of the fact that we were able to go 43 feet. So I could get you everything that you wanted. Hmm. Take that. True. But true though, I mean, he just put it right out there and didn't care about nobody's feelings. You didn't just that want that. No, 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 no. <laughs> let's be fair. Let's, let's call it what it was. I tried to say to you, let's take off the back patio. We'll save twenty two hundred. And you said, oh no, 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 no. I gotta have the patio. I said to you, well, what if we take off this? We can save money here. What if we take off the jacks? We can save money here. You're like, no, I want the big fridge. I want. The fact is, is, yes, I agree you wanted the separation, <laughs> but you wanted your big fridge. You wanted your six-point. You wanted your onboard generator, really. Yeah. So did she, <laughs> just as guilty. And then she, you wanted the back patio, too. The problem is you're getting everything you want right now. The other way, you're not really happy. No. You're not. Well, no. Does, it have, does it have the app thing? Oh. I, I don't need the app. Oh. I, I, I don't need the app. <laughs> <laughs> No, the fact, is, the fact is, all the various things you said you want, the cross seating, the L shape, where this is sectioned off, the big fridge, the patios, all those different things, the big onboard generator, you got what you wanted. Is it smarter to take the big step and get everything that you want? Yes. Why do you want to pay sales tax again and just lose it? This isn't me trying to talk into it. This is just common sense and you know it. I don't like you. <laughs> you like me a lot. You know what? You like me a lot. Because this the fact is, is this is what you the, deserve, and this is what you want. I don't and, know if he deserves it. Oh come on! Well, <laughs> no, let me ask you something. You deserve that? I oh, think yeah. you do. I think you. I, I do. For the moment you stepped in this store, and you told me that was important. What was important to you? I listened, and that is what I heard first and foremost. If we would have looked at mid bunks today, you wouldn't have been happy. True. Yep. With as much time as you guys are spending and living on it, this is your home. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't a hotel where you decide to go for a week. You know? And my, here's my other prediction, too. Lengthwise, he won't go back to the 38 foot. No way in the world. He is not going to give up all the things he has. You're not going to go to a smaller garage. You're not going to give up your, your half bath. You're not going to go to a small rink heating bathroom. No way. Because you know what he's going to say? He's going to say, look, if I didn't fit a 39 foot in some place, you're telling me I can't fit a 43 foot? You really want me to be there when you go to the campground? <laughs> if your site can accommodate, because it can accommodate your truck, right? You want me to believe that if it can accommodate a 39 foot camper, it can accommodate four feet more. That all these sites are going to be cut off of that floor. No way. You'd figure it out. <laughs> yeah, you'd figure, <laughs> you'd it, figure out. it out. You, you, because you know why you'd figure it out? Because you wouldn't want to give up all of this. If I took, like she said earlier, two feet out of this living room, and she was right, because it doesn't all just come out of there, I take a foot out of your bathroom in here, right? Or you lose that. Are you willing to give up all that? No, you're not. And I hope you're recording that so you play it again and again and again. Oh, no, I'm recording it because there for a second you were on my side. Oh! And now it's like, wait a minute. No, no, no. Here, 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 here's, here's, here's the thing. I'm actually on both your sides, and that's the best part about it. The thing is, you guys want the same thing. You really do at the end of the day. It is nice, babe.
Yeah, and if you think about it, price was just you wanted to have half of what the house sold for in the bank. Yeah, so right. You don't have half of what the house sold for. Right. In the bank, so you're um, you're got, you're traveling in this and. Now you just figure out a way to make up money and just keep throwing it in the bank. Well, do you like it? Oh, I do. There you go. Yeah. There you go. What more is there to well, discuss? That's... <laughs> we need uh Okay. So, let me... uh Anything to say before I shut it down? I don't think so. I just want to figure out how to get matching countertops. John will help us with that. We can figure that out. Right. Without spending extra. <laughs> <laughs> I love so we're just leaving Lakeshore RV in Muskegon. Muskegon, Michigan. So what did you think about it? Um, yeah, I, about it. I was expecting to go through more RVs than what we did. But the guy was kind of like, why waste our time going through a bunch of stuff that you know you don't want, and why why do it? Out of the ones he did show us, do you think the one we picked is the right one? Well, yeah, because that's the one we picked. Price-wise? Well, no. It's out of your budget. So I set a budget <laughs> that I wanted to spend no more than like 40000 on a new fifth wheel. And when, I, when we first started this, it was more that we wanted a toy hauler. We wanted to have enough space for uh, Cindy to do her crafty stuff in, for me to do my, you know, guitars and stuff of that nature. And the price, we kept settling and saying, okay, well, maybe we don't need the toy hauler. Maybe we need this. Uh, then we kind of settled on uh, a center bunkhouse, like a den. And we figured that that would work. So we came up to the lakeside, or lakeshore, RV place up here. And uh, came up to the lakeshore RV place up here. And we talked to John. And before he would show us any of the RVs, he sat down and we kind of had a talk on what we wanted, what we were trying to accomplish. And he kind of went right back to the toy hauler. So he showed us a couple of toy haulers. The one I thought was kind of cool because it had a slide and a slide. So the living room was huge, but there was, what do you say that that meant of what we were looking for? What did that there was no closet space in, in the bedroom at all. There was no washer and dryer hookup. So it would have been extra. That one they wanted, I think, 58000 Then we would have to pay extra to have the washer and dryer hookup. Um, no patio. Right. Or no, that one did have a patio. It did it have did. the patio, but... You you guys were discussing to get the price down. Right. Taking so the patio, patio away, taking the beds and the toy hauler part away. Yeah. Um, the living room was big and that but there was no storage really anywhere, especially in the bedroom. Like we wouldn't have even been able to fit the clothes that are in our dresser at home. So that one, it was, it was a slide and a slide. I think that's the one, right? Yeah. Uh, so the living room had a lot of floor space. You, you know, you still had your what? What was it? A three seat couch. Yeah. You, you still had your three seat couch, but you had a lot of floor space. Um, like Cindy was saying, there was no no storage really. So the washer dryer hookup was a big deal. So it's kind of like okay, you're going to spend fifty eight thousand. And you're going to have to take away from the RV as far as no patio, get rid of that, get rid of the uh, couch and the bunk, 
that's in the toy hauler part to try to get the price down. And it's like, okay, well then again, now we just basically have an empty shell of a toy hauler if you want. Look, there's a joke. So the next one he showed us was, was the, cougar. The, cougar. the cougar. Now that one was pretty cool. It it had it was a toy hauler, but it had a narrower back door. But it was still a full toy hauler inside. That one was pretty cool because it had some storage in it. Yeah. Um no washer dryer. No washer dryer hookup. No generator. Um no patio. No patio because it, it was a smaller you know, the whole back of the toy hauler didn't open up, it was just a section of it. Um, so, what didn't we like about that one, though? I mean, other than the patio, the washer dryer hookup, because the price on that one was thirty-eight, thousand, which was a really good price. But the Cougars, we were also looking at the NADA book as he was giving us the price of the vehicles, and we would look at the NADA book and say, okay, a two model year older, what was the resale value? So that way we can kind of have a more realistic, like we're saving money now, but in two or three years, if we want to change, we're going to take this huge monstrous loss versus spending a little extra money now and not taking that big of a hit later on down the road. But what else? I mean, it was, it, that Cougar was nice though. It, it was, it was nice, but it was very cramped. Yeah. It's very cramped and it's it kind of you weren't staring at the kitchen faucet but you weren't you could sit on the couch and still touch the kitchen faucet you just right. weren't looking at it because the TV was in the opposite direction but yeah that one was very cramped it, it was cramped so like I said when we first started this Cindy needed the wanted the toy hauler for her crafts my big thing was we had to have a generator and I wanted the separation so I wanted a defined space that was my living room in it and a defined area that was the kitchen I didn't want the couch on one wall and the kitchen sink on the other um, and we did find one that as soon as we walked in and this was at Camping World as soon as we walked in it was like yep this is the one and unfortunately, they wanted how much was it after seventy nine seventy nine thousand, and so it did have the dedicated living room, dedicated kitchen, and uh, so we were like, okay, we'll go ahead and wait until next year, and then we'll get that you know as the last year's model, and we'll save on it. And I don't. Did we ever? No, we did go back. We did a couple of weeks ago. A they couple of weeks ago. They wanted seventy-two thousand. They wanted seventy-two. So, yeah, there was a couple thousand dollar savings, but not enough to say, okay, that we're going to have to restructure the budget or do something to come up with this. So, I wanted to go to Paul Sherry today and close to Indiana, uh, up by Columbus, Ohio, and. Last night, you and I, we were talking, and, and I was like, just pick pick a place to go tomorrow so we can get a better idea. And we originally started looking for that mid-bunk uh, fifth wheel. So Cindy was like, well, let's go up to this place up in Michigan. So that's where we decided to go. Now, when we were talking to John about our wants, he tried to help us as far as here's what works in your budget. And ultimately, I wasn't satisfied, you wasn't satisfied with anything he was showing us. As we were driving around through his lot on his little golf cart, there was one particular unit. It was uh, the, cyclone. the Cyclone. And he was like, well, to get you guys everything you want, the Cyclone is extremely beautiful. And once you walk in, that's going to be the one. And Cindy was like, nope, we ain't even going to go look at it. You know because of the price you know we're assuming the price is going to be astronomical so we go back up to the office and i don't even know why we went back up to the office i think just to he see he's gonna see what else he had to see what else he had that would kind of fit where where we wanted to be 
and it went back to the cyclone again. So Cindy was like, well, let's go take a look at it. And uh, I grabbed a brochure. Yeah. And I picked a model where it was clearly separated, the kitchen and the living room. And I said, don't you have something like this? And he said, that's the one you told me not to show you. Right. And I was like, oh, okay. So Cindy said, go ahead and let's head back out and go look at that one. But anyways, uh, that's the RV that we decided that we were going to get. And the final price on it was... And this is with tax in Ohio and, you, you, you know, all this other good stuff. So it was basically the out-the-door out the price was... 67700 60, 60, $67,700 and some change. So it was ten grand cheaper than what uh, uh, Camping, World. Camping World wanted. But... The catch with this is we're actually going to get a 2018 model. So it's going to be like the newest model year because it's 2018. And uh, John said that they were just now starting to go into production for the 2018. So when we put our order in for it, he put that we wanted the 2018 model. Um, so that kind of even boosts the amount of savings even more by getting... The 2018 model year so this one has all the separation it has uh, the generator uh, one and a half bathrooms it has the front uh, bathroom for the uh, master bedroom um, so it gave her huge amounts of storage closet space washer dryer hookup so the model number on it was the cyclone the HD 51 4150. 4150. Um, so we looked up on uh, what was RV it? Uh, Trader. RV Trader. And the cheapest one we found on RV Trader was, wasn't it a 2016? Um, I think there was a 2015 for 66. A 2015 for like 66,000. They had a 2016 for 75,000. Yeah, 2016 for 75. So I don't think it's that bad of a deal, really. And I, I know it's just asking price what the people are asking, but if it's a 2015 and they're asking 67, we're way ahead of the game, you know, with the 2018 model year for 67. Um, so at any rate, that's. Uh, that's pretty much it. Anything you want to add? No. How many months do we got before we hit the road? Um, four. Four months. How many months do I want to have? None. None. I want to be gone tomorrow. But uh, John did say it would take two to three months. Yeah, he said that he could put the order in and tell them to take their time. That way... Because we still have to sell the house, um, and if it don't sell, like I said, we'll auction it off. But we have to give the realtor uh, ample time to try to sell it. So uh, John said, you know, two to three months, um, then the unit will be in. So it's right around that time frame of we gotta, you know, start getting stuff sashayed around as far as what are we taking, what are we not, get storage uh, storage units to get stuff put in. So, I think that's about it. Yep. That was a long day. Yep. She looks kind of tired. So, <laughs> all right. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, in the description, uh, there's a link to my Facebook page. If you guys can give me a like on that. Also, there is a, uh, I'm on Instagram now. And I forgot I was on Instagram, so I would have taken pictures of the uh, RV and everything and put them on Instagram and get some pictures on that. I don't know how to use Instagram. I don't know how to use Instagram yet. That is that is correct. But there's a link anyways in the description if you want to follow me or like me or however they do it on Instagram. The link is down there to my page. Um, also, if you guys can subscribe to the YouTube channel, let your friends know. Uh, like Cindy said, we only got four more months, three months, hopefully, and then the RV will be in. 
and we will uh, get ready to hit the road and let your friends know to come along on this journey with us. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.